Hi everybody, welcome to Astrovest Live Connect again. So, I am going to discuss answers to some of the questions. Before that, let us discuss something else in astrology. First, let us take up the cine industry and who will become popular in the cine industry. The planets that are responsible for becoming famous in the cine industry are Sun, Moon, Mars, Venus, Rahu and Ketu. How are these planets linked to the fame in the cine industry? Well, Sun. Sun is a planet that gives fame, authority, power and recognition in the cine field. So, if a person has to be recognized for all his efforts in the cine field, then he has to have a powerful Sun in his birth chart. And Sun also confers uh, authority and power to the native. So, uh, well established directors, actors will have a strong Sun in the birth chart. And Sun also uh, represents familiarity in the social circles and in the media. Okay. Next about Moon. Moon is all about emotions. So, acting is basically an emotional profession. So, actors should have a strong moon in the horoscope to exhibit their emotions and show a lot of expressions. Along with moon, they must be having a strong mercury which is a communicative planet. So, lot of expressions and communications are expected from the actor's side. So, they should be having a strong moon and mercury in the birth chart. What about the next planet namely Mars? Mars wipes out the stage fear. It gives fearlessness and boldness to the actors and people in the media. So, Mars has to be really very strong for a person in order to deliver the best results in front of the camera. Okay. What about Venus? Film industry is basically a Venusian industry. So, Venus is related to arts, music, dance, drama and things like those. So, basically a strong Venus in the horoscope and its uh, linkage to the first house, third house and uh, other houses the fourth and the fifth houses will give a strong prospect of uh, the native becoming successful in the cine industry. So, uh, a person should not uh, have a very strong Venus because if he is having a very strong Venus he will exhibit a feminine characteristics. Uh, strong Mercury and Venus may allow the person to act uh, in the opposite gender roles. For example, man acting like a woman or woman acting like a man. So, things like those are because of strong Venus and Mercury in the birth chart. And what about Rahu and Ketu? Rahu is a planet of challenges. So, in order to face the challenges and in order to go about dealing with the problems and other things and to uh, wipe out the negativity, you know Rahu plays a very vital role in the native's horoscope. Okay, what about Ketu? Ketu as you know is a spiritual planet. So, Ketu if it is very strong will uh, take the native in a correct path in the cine industry. He will not be afflicted by the negative things and negative attitudes and things like those. So, these planets are to be very strong in a uh, birth chart of a native in order to gain success in the cine industry or in the media. Okay, let us go to the questions which have been posted. The first question is from Ajit Kumar Ramesh. Well, Ajit Kumar Ramesh, your question is, sir, I would only like to know about my career growth or fall in 2019. Okay, let us analyze your birth chart. On analyzing your birth chart, your 10th uh, uh, house lot happens to be Venus and it lies in the 11th house of gains. So, it is a very good prospect in your birth chart. So, generally you will be having a strong career prospects throughout your life, but what is the Dasa Bhukti you are running right now? You are running the uh, Jupiter Dasa or major period and uh, the minor period would be that of uh, moon. So, Jupiter moon major minor period you are running right now. So, in 2019 will it be a rise or a fall? Okay. So, um, Venus is in the house of gains and Jupiter, Jupiter is lord of the 12th house and the 3rd house and is posited in the 6th house, uh, you know and uh, that of uh, the Bhukti 
So, the bhukti is that of moon, moon is posited in the ninth house okay, and afflicted by Rahu. So, you know uh, this may not be a very favorable position for your career in uh, this year 2019, though your career aspects are very good throughout your life. So, that is the answer to your question. Next question is from Mr. David, which is the day I am going to apply for a new job, I am ready to quit the job and that I have now and get a better one. Well, Mr. David, let me try answering your question. So, on analyzing your birth chart, so the 10th house Lord Jupiter is in the uh, unfavorable position of the 12th house, that is one point to be noted. And what is the dasa bhukti you are running right now? You are running the ketu dasa or major period and the minor period would be that of uh, Mars. So, how is Mars in a birth chart? Well, Mars is posted in the 10th house and um, So, uh, again in the mass uh, sub uh, minor period, what is the sub minor period you are running? That also has to be analyzed for answering your question. You are running the sub minor period of you know uh, Rahu. So, as far as the sub minor period is concerned, Rahu is posited in the ninth house. Okay. So, your question is when should I apply for a new job? You know you could be applying for a new job in the sub minor periods of Mercury, Sun, Mercury uh, and Sun that would be good. So, that happens to be starting from June 1st 2019 and ending on June 22nd 2019. And again, the sub minor period of sun starts from July 26, 2019 and ends on uh, August 2nd, 2019. So, these are sub minor periods which will be favorable for you for applying for a new job or getting into a new career. All right. Let us go to the next question. The next question has been asked by Mr. Guru Charan Singh. Uh, how will be my career in 2019 having business uh, looking for houses also? Okay, Mr. Guru Charan, let me try answering your question seeing your birth chart which I have at hand right now. Well, on analyzing a birth chart, your son that is the 10th house lord is exalted. So, uh, it is likely that uh, you may get a good job, you may even get a government job. So, you are running the Jupiter major minor period, sorry you are running the Jupiter dasa and the bhukti would be that of uh, minor period would be that of Mercury. So, Mercury is debilitated. So, generally on analyzing a birth chart your career house is very strong and lot of the career house that is the 10th house is also very strong, but right now you are run, not running a very favorable period for you. So, this uh, gives the inference that you may wait for a favorable period or the next period of time, the next uh, bhukti. So, about your next part of the question uh, about uh, business and houses. The seventh house represents the business and the business partners, whereas house can be analyzed from the fourth house. So, the lord of the seventh house is Venus and is posted in the sixth house. So, sixth house is not a dustana or a unfavorable position for Venus, and uh, as far as house is concerned, the fourth house Saturn is posted in the seventh house. So, house uh, you know uh, right now uh, 
on analyzing your uh, subminor period you could be trying for a house during the mass subminor period that is from december december 31st 2018 onwards you would have started and you could be any favorably getting a getting this aspect or prospect okay so that is my answer to your question let us go to the next one which has been posted by radha well miss radha namaste i want to ask when i'll get married okay let us analyze the seventh house all right on analyzing the seventh house some details have can be gathered that seventh house lord is mercury and is along with the sun in the 12th house the house of the unfavorable house and moreover the dasa bhukti which you are running right now would be that of rahu major period and the minor period or bhukti would be that of venus so what is the sub minor period which you are running right now the sub minor period which you are running right now would be uh, that of march that is a sub sub minor period so as per your question the best time for marriage would be um, uh, sun is uh, uh, you know in the 12th house so avoid the uh, sub minor periods or the bhuktis of sun and mercury whereas you can concentrate on the uh, major minor and sub minor periods of mars which is in the favorably in the 12th house particularly if a modific planet is placed in the i mean in the 11th house particularly if a modific planet is placed in the 11th house surely it will confer good results in his dasa bhukti so you could concentrate on the uh, dasa bhukti and uh, antara of mars and also that of jupiter because Ju jupiter is lord of the lagna definitely the lord of the lagna will give good results in his dasa bhukti and antara and sukshama so during this time you could get good results so this is the answer to your question okay let us move over ahead to the next question which has been posted by pankuri will i have love marriage when and where will i meet this person well love marriage is all related to the fifth and the seventh houses fifth house denotes the love and romance whereas the seventh house denotes the marriage so let us analyze your birth chart so moon is exalted jupiter is exalted and uh, you know uh, so in the 11th house there is no planet and the 7th house rahu is present and the 5th house lord the 7th house lord saturn is in the 6th house and the 5th house lord mars is in his own house so this is a very favorable position for you so you will definitely have your love marriage materialized so when and where, where will i meet this person all right so your seventh house happens to be representing the southern direction so you will most probably meet your uh, love partner from the southern direction from your native place or homeland or your current residential place all right and moreover 
your 10th uh, house slot is as known house in the 10th house and uh, so you will be most probably meeting your uh, lover in the office uh, settings in the place of profession and moreover when will I meet my love that is your next question. Let us analyze your uh, Dasa Bhukti periods. So, you will be meeting your uh, love in the mind, sub minor periods or Bhukti of Moon, Jupiter during this or Mars, Moon, Jupiter or Mars. So, that will be uh, you know starting from July 10, 2020 or uh, till uh, May 10, 2020 been posted by Sudipta Kumar. Well, know about love life, marriage and career. Okay, fine. Let us analyze your birth chart. All right. So, on analyzing your birth chart, your 10th house lot is in the 8th house and uh, so when will you get a good career? So, let us analyze your Dasa and Bhukti that is a major and minor period. Right now, you are running the Saturn major period and uh, Saturn is lord of the 7th and the 8th houses and is posted in the 10th house. What is the minor period you are running? You are running the minor period The minor period which you are running right now is that of Jupiter and Jupiter is lord of the 6th uh, and the ninth houses and posted in the 10th house. So, let us analyze the some minor period of this Jupiter. So, in your birth chart, Saturn is debilitated and uh, Lord of the Lagna is happens to be uh, Moon. So, during the Moon sub minor period, avoiding the Saturn sub minor period, you can get good results that is starting from January 1st, 2019, you can get good results for your career, marriage and love life. Okay. Let us analyze your marriage and love life. Your marriage can be uh, described from your 7th house from the Lagna. So, there Ketu is posited. So, there could be some hurdles related to your marriage. Also, in the 1st and 7th house axis that is Rahu and Ketu. So, you are having the Rahu Ketu Dosha. So, you can do some remedies for that and proceed with the marriage. So, this is all about your description of your birth chart regarding marriage and career. Let us go to the next report given by Hafsa. Okay. She is asking about her health. So, let us analyze the sixth house which relates to health of the native. The sixth of slot uh, is in a very unfavorable position. So, uh, you could be facing health problems throughout your life in general, but uh, what is the uh, status of your health right now? Right now, you are running the Venus major period or Dasa. And, uh, Venus is placed right in the Lagna 
and the lord of the lagna is sun and sun in, is in its own house so about the minor period which you are running right now you are running the minor period of moon so moon is also afflicted so this is not a very favorable position favorable period for you for a health status so better take care of your health conditions and uh, go ahead leading a prosperous life so you must not ignore any minor problems as they could turn into major ones leading to a lot of medical bills and even hospitalization so things like those so take care of your health so that is a answer to your question well let us go to the next question Yes, the next question has been posted by Rajesh Kumar. Namaste, I live in debt. Can you help me? Okay. Debt or loans are related to the sixth house. The sixth house, Lord Saturn, is debilitated, which means that you could not be having very uh, favorable uh, conditions related to your debts and loans. and about the current situation you are running the jupiter major period and the minor period is that of ketu ketu and the upcoming is uh, uh, that of venus so ketu is possessed in the second house and venus is in its own house in the fourth house and uh, venus happens to be the lord of the fourth house and the 11th house so venus is in a good position so the upcoming period will be favorable for you as far as debts are concerned so try, uh, try to settle down the debts or loans which you have in the venus upcoming uh, period that is the venus bhukti so otherwise if you leave this favorable period you may end up uh, uh, having your debts unsettled throughout your uh, throughout a long period of time so try settling your debts during the venus bhukti yes the next question has been asked by arun kumar will i get transferred back to my native place during april or may 2019 okay transfers let us analyze your birth chart and go ahead answering your question the 10th house lord is in its own house the same 10th house and it also happens to be the lord of the 11th house so your career should be very strong in particular and to say something more about your birth chart you are running the saturn major period so this should be a very favorable time for you for getting transferred back to your native place So April May 2019 may be a very favorable period for you for getting transferred back to your native place. All right. Let us go to the next question, which has been posted by Usha. I want to know about marriage. Okay. So marriage is represented by the seventh house. so let us analyze the dasha bhukti which you are running right now you are running the rahu major period and the minor period would be that of mercury so mercury period may not be a very favorable period as it is in a unfavorable position in a birth chart so this may not be very favorable for your marriage 
and you can wait for the next uh, bhukti that is the ketu bhukti which starts from august 5th 2021 so you can go in for your alliance matching from that time all right let us go to the next question which has been posted the next question which has been posted is by nadi katla and the question is can you forecast my career prospects okay so career as you know is represented by the 10th house so the 10th house uh, Lord Jupiter is exalted in a birth chart and is in right in the second house of wealth. So, definitely you will be having a good career prospects throughout your life. So, all the very best go ahead have a great time in your career ahead. So, on analyzing the Dasa Bhukti you are right now running the Saturn May period. So, Saturn is in its own house. So, you can expect some fair distress on a career even during this dasa, which runs from April 24, 2001 for a period of 19 years till April 23, 2020. So, all the very best, have a great career ahead. Well, the next question is from Zobida. The question is, when is my book going to be a bestseller? Well, a book is all about creations the fifth house and the success comes from the 11th house let us analyze the fifth and the 11th house and go about telling about your book becoming a bestseller all right so the uh, fifth house lord happens to be venus and uh, the to 11th house lord happens to be Mars is in its own house, the same house. So, you could expect uh, uh, good things to happen, but before that we should analyze the Dasa Bhukti which are running right now. The Dasa Bhukti which are running right now is that of Saturn which happens to be the lord of the Lagna. So, definitely your book is going to be a best seller during this period because the lord of the lagna, lord of the ascendant is going to confer the best result during its major period. So, this can be expected from you, do not worry your book is definitely going to be a best seller and we have some more uh, questions left. The question is will I get a new job within this month? Uh, this has been posted by uh, Vamsi Krishnan. Mr. Vamsi Krishna, let us go ahead analyzing a birth chart. You are running the major period of Jupiter and the minor period is also that of Jupiter. Well, Jupiter is, seems to be debilitated in your birth chart. So, a debilitated planet may not confer very good results during its Dasa Bhukti. So, you may not expect uh, a very good job right this month you may expect for wait for a feral uh, time period to come ok. Yes, the next question has been asked by the user Amit. The question asked by Amit is I want to know about my married life ok. So, let us analyze your 7th house. The 7th house seems to be 7th house lord seems to be afflicted and 7th house also seems to be very weak. So, you can go in for some remedies for Jupiter. You can chant the mantra Om Guruve Namaha, particularly on Thursdays. You can observe fasting on Thursdays if health permits. On Thursdays, you can also avoid a non vegetarian diet in case you are a non vegetarian. So, uh, other remedies to be followed are you must respect elders, you must respect uh, the uh, old people, the scholars, the priests, 
and you can give some offerings of jaggery to cows and you can follow some remedies like this to get better results. All right, let us go to the last part of the session namely discussion about the chakras and meditation. Well, as you know in the human body there are uh, 7 basic chakras, the Mooladhara, Swadhisthana, Manipura, Anahat, Visuddhi, Ajnaya and Sahasra. So, these are the 7 chakras in the human body. So, how are these chakras related to the planets? The characteristics of each chakra is related to a specific planet. For example, if you take up Mooladhara, it is more related to the planet Mars. This is because Mars is about the physical and the physical body. What about the next chakra namely Swadhisthana? Swadhisthana is more related to Mercury. Mercury is all about communication and expression. And the next chakra is Manipura. Manipura is related to the planet Jupiter. So, Jupiter is about knowledge knowledge and the spirituality and the next chakra is Anahata. Anahata is related to the planet Venus. So, Venus is all about the heart, the love and the romance as Anahata is related to the heart uh, as a heart chakra. And the next uh, uh, chakra is Vishuddhi which is a throat chakra and it is related to Saturn. Saturn is all about character. So, the person having a strong Vishuddhi chakra will be having a strong character. And finally, we have two chakras left Ajneya and Sahasrara. Ajneya is related to the planet sun and Sahasrara is related to the planet moon. How is sun related to Ajneya? Sun is uh, you know uh, the king of all planets. It will be giving good uh, recognition, uh, fame and understanding capabilities. So, if this uh, chakra on the forehead is very strong, then you will be having a good understanding and uh, good recognition in your life. The final chakra is on the top of the head and that is related to the moon because it is all about the good thoughts and the good thought processes. So, you will be definitely getting a good thought process as the moon relates to the mind uh, if your sahasrara chakra gets activated. So, that is the end of our session. So, we have been answering many questions in Astrovich Live Connect. Thank you, have a great day ahead. We will meet again. Hi, everybody.